In this video, I'm going to be showing you inside of Guest Hollow's Junior Anatomy Guide, as well as all the resources that I've picked up to teach this to my children this year. I have over 40 books and resources to show you today, so please stick around if that's something you're interested in seeing. Hi friends, welcome back to Common the Chaos Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Davine and I'm homeschooling four children, probably ages 10 to 13 by the time you see this video. This year in our science, we are learning human anatomy. And I have to say that that is probably one of my least favorite science topics. However, about a year ago, I discovered a company called Guest Hollow. And when I was looking on their site, I saw their anatomy guide and it actually made me excited to teach human anatomy. If you haven't heard of Guest Hollow before, they are a very multimedia literature-based curriculum company. They provide a lot of different sorts of resources that you can use in teaching your children. If you purchase one of their guides, you will find that there are so many books linked, YouTube videos, activities, things online, a whole bunch of things that you can use with your children. So when I found this curriculum, I reached out to Guest Hollow to see if they would be willing to give me this curriculum in exchange for my honest review, and they said yes. So the guide was given to me free of charge, just so you know about that, but really, these are all my honest opinions. I am really excited about using this this year. I'm going to be breaking this video up with timestamps. So if you're interested in a particular section of this video, please do check out the timestamps below so you can skip to the parts that you're interested in. So I'm going to start with the flip through and talking about the Guest Hollow Junior Anatomy Guide. This curriculum is meant for third grade through eighth grade. And the different activities you use and the different books that you use can determine how easy or advanced this will be. I'm going to be using it with my four kids who are 10 to 13, almost 14. So I'm going for that more upper elementary middle school range. So I have added in the middle school books as well. So, so here I is Guest Hollow's Junior Anatomy. It's a literature-based free videos, fun activities, and additional levels for multi-grade teaching. So this is intended for grades three through eight. When you open up, there's a lot of important information here. So you can check that out if you purchase Guest Hollow. Guest Hollow does come as a PDF, so you have to print it yourself or use it directly from your computer or tablet. They have Facebook groups and they are super active in their Facebook groups and very helpful. So if you have any questions using their curriculum, they are they will get back to you right away. So it just talks about the videos, it talks about the links, it talks about how you can do more with this guide and how you can make it more bare bones if that is what you would like. And then just some more suggestions for using the curriculum. All right, so one thing I didn't mention that they do talk about in this intro here is Guest Hollow provides a lot of resources. So you do not need to feel like you need to use all the resources. In fact, using all the resources could probably be overwhelming for most people. So make sure that you pick and choose when you do this. They call it a buffet of options. So you do not need to use every single resource that they provide. Okay, so here they have the books and resource lists. So they have all the books that they talk about here in this guide. So I am going to be showing you most of these books. I do have a lot of these. I did pick and choose. There are some times where they say pick one or the other book. So one's for younger learners, one's for older learners. I have chosen the older learners since my kids are upper elementary and middle school, but they give you all of the books suggested here. And like I said, if you wanna see most of these books, stick around for after this section of the video. They also gave you these checklists here so you can go through and decide if you want to buy it, if you want to borrow it from the library, if you want to use an ebook or an audiobook for that selection. I will say that often when I'm looking for these books, they are often found in the library. So if they're not books that you're using for a long time, you can often get it from the library. A lot of these books are scheduled for one day, one week, or even two weeks. And then after that, I would suggest you probably get the ones that are scheduled longer. Probably just get those spine books for this guide. So they have video suggestions here and they have some activities. Here is the supply list. And then here is the schedule. So I'm going to show you the first two weeks of the schedule since those are the weeks that are provided on the website. 
I'm showing you all the books because they also tell you all the books on the website as well. So this is an example of what the week would look like. So at the very beginning, they always tell you what the theme of the week is. Here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Here are the books or the activities that you can choose from. So usually the books at the top are going to be the main or the spine or the more important books. So we have Enjoy Your Cells. You're reading it that week. Kids Discover Magazine Cells. I, I highlighted before I knew what I was doing. Horrible Science, Blood, Bones, and Body Bits. We're reading this. It tells you what pages to read that week. I'm not doing my first human body book because that's a coloring book, but that might be a resource that you might be interested in. We have Blood and Guts. That is one of the spines of this program, so I would say you need to purchase that one because you will be reading it throughout the year. Then they have video suggestions. So this video is a purchase video, but this video is online. So you can just click on it and it will lead you straight to the video. Brain Pop is something that is optional. You can purchase this. I'm not sure what the subscription price is. I decided that I did not want to purchase it, so I won't be doing these videos. Then we have some projects and activities. The Easy Make and Learn pro Projects Human Body. So they tell you what to do there if that's what you choose. There are printables that have links that you can click right to it and do the printables. And then there's websites that you could also use too. So as you can see, this is the first week and there are already a lot of options here. You do not want to try to do everything unless you wanna spend all day on this curriculum. So I am doing this book, this book, this book, and this video for this week. That is what I've chosen to do. Week two. Have a nice DNA, so I'm reading that. Genetics, breaking the code on your DNA. This is for middle schoolers, so I'm going to see if I'm going to read that to all my students or what I'm going to do with that. So that, I'm just, I'll still be deciding on that. There's Brain Pop again, we're not doing that. I will be doing these two links. We have an edible DNA model that I can click on and learn how to do that. And I have the Thames and Cosmo Biology, Genetics and DNA Kit that I can use that week. I'm not doing this. And you could do this if you chose to do that. All right, so there's a look at week three, gene machines, genetics, breaking the code of your DNA. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But, so as you can see, there's a lot of activities. So I'm gonna stop there. I don't wanna give away their whole schedule. There are weeks three through 35. I would say that towards the end, it does get lighter. So in this guide, they cover anatomy, human anatomy, they cover health, they cover things like um, puberty, and they cover survival skills and things like that. So it has quite a selection of things that you will learn if you follow this guide. So I hope that gave you a good idea of what Guest Hollow's guides look like and what you can expect when you purchase something from Guest Hollow. I will definitely link in the description box below a link to their site. I am not an affiliate, so I don't get anything from you purchasing from that site, but I'm just excited about this company and the resources that they provide for homeschoolers. Also, they have really great Facebook groups and they are very active in their Facebook groups. If you ever have a problem with their curriculum, they definitely step in and help you up. So great customer service and just excited to be using this curriculum this year. I'm also using another guest hollow curriculum this year. I'm using their high school geography and cultures. I will also be doing something like this for that unit as well. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified of when that video is up. Okay, so let's get into the resources that I'm using that are out of the Guest Hollow Guide. So before I start showing you all the books, I'm going to let you know that I will link below in the description box links to everything that I can find. So if you're interested in any particular one of these or any particular books, do check out the description box below. When you buy the guide from Guest Hollow, they are very clear on what parts of books you might want to skip if you are a Christian family and which resources are Christian resources. So either way, you're able to pick and choose the books that you want to use with your family. All right, so the first book I hear is Enjoy Your Cells by Fran Ballwill and Rick Rolfe. Horrible Science, Blood, Bones, and Body Bits. Blood and Guts. Genetics, breaking the code of your DNA. G 
Jean Machine by that same author as Enjoy Yourselves. Bones. The Body Book. So I got one of each of these for my kids. So this is more of a hands-on activities. The Skeleton Book. Muscles. Guinea Pig Scientists. Bold Self-Experimenters in Science and Medicine. I believe this is a middle school add-on. How to Be a Genius by DK. <clears throat> the Electrifying Nervous System. This is a Christian resource. Obviously, God's Wondrous Machine. Finnis Gage, a gruesome but true story about brain science. Fanny Crosby, Queen of Gospel Songs. How to Really Fool Yourself, Illusions for All Your Senses. She Touched the World, Laura Bridgman, Blind Deaf Pioneer. The Magic School Bus explores the senses. The Circulatory Story. The Book of Blood, it all begins and ends with blood from legends and leeches to vampires and veins. I believe this is a middle school add-on. The Quest to Digest. Poop Happened. A history of the world from bottom from the bottom up. Janice Van Clay's food and nutrition for every kid. We're entering into the nutrition part of this. Fat head kids stuff about diet and health. I wish I knew when I was your age. I think this is a middle school add-on. Chew on this. Everything you don't want to know about fast food. So it's disgusting and we ate it. Happy Feet, your child's first journal of exercise and healthy living. So this is a journal, so it's meant to be written in. The Exciting Endocrine System. Help! What's Eating My Flesh? A Chew, the most interesting book you'll ever read about germs. Pasteur's fight against microbes. Outbreak, plagues that changed history. Science Comics, Plagues, the Microscopic Battlefield.
belly busting worm invasions, parasites that love your insides. This is a middle school add-on, Invincible Microbe Tuberculosis. An American Plague, the true and terrifying story of the yellow fever epidemic of 1793. Basher Science Microbiology, it's a small world. Germ zappers. Straight talk, drugs and alcohol. Straight talk, smoking. DK's The Survival Handbook. What would you do? A kid's guide to dealing with tricky and sticky situations. So I have a few more resources here. These are more the puberty and that area here. So we have some secrets should never be kept. And then these are all Christian resources that I picked up for my boys and girls. We have Growing Up God's Way for Girls. We have Growing Up God's Way for Boys. We have the Ultimate Girls of Body Books, Not So Silly Questions About Your Body. And the Ultimate Guys Body Book. Not so stupid questions about your body. So those are mostly resources that were mentioned in Guest Hollow's Junior Anatomy. As you can see, there are a lot of books and there are a lot of variety. There are a lot of different sections. It covers all the parts of the body. It covers nutrition. It covers puberty. It covers being safe. It covers health. So it does cover a lot of things. If we don't get through this in one year, I will not be disappointed. There's a lot to cover here. So I also have a few resources that I just had in my home. So I'm just gonna show you that as well. So if you've seen my Usborn haul, you will have seen this one, 100 things to know about the human body. I think I will put it in my morning basket or maybe I'll just start each lesson with one of these so we can get through the 100 things. I bought this in a previous Usborn haul, Seeing Inside Your Body. So this is a Lift the Flat book. I'll probably just have this out for my kids to look at. This I got from my mother-in-law when she retired from teaching. So looking into my body, this is kind of fun. It has these clear things that you can look at the different systems here. Bones are a skeletal system. I think we have this book, I think the muscles book that comes with this, with the guide. We have parts, this is kind of a funny book. And I have the magic school bus inside the human body. I also have some of the activity kits that are suggested in Guest Hollows Junior Anatomy, so I'm gonna show you those. I got this Glow Germ Training Manual. So this is for teaching kids to wash their hands. I think you put it on their hands and they wash their hands and then you can see if it's still dirty after they've washed their hands or if they've gotten the germs off. I have this, the Magic School Bus Rides Again, the World of Germs Kit. I haven't opened it yet, but here's the back to show you what's in it. And then I got this one here, Genetics and DNA. This is the Thames and Cosmos kit for genetics. 
All right, so I hope that was helpful sharing with you all the resources that I'm using for teaching my children human anatomy this year. Thank you so much for coming today. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified of when any future videos are up. I will be doing a flip through and show you all my resources that I'm getting for my guest hollow high school world geography and cultures. We're going to be doing half of that this year. So do stick around if you'd like to see that video. It will be up shortly. Thanks for coming today and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.